I was, as you said, the first author ever invited onto the board of the Smithsonian, mm -hmm. and the reason that they invited me onto the board, um, Nancy Gwynn, who's the director of the libraries, revealed in one of my meetings, in one of my interview meetings to be on the board, that she really wasn't interested in Catherine Neville for her skills. She was interested in her for her Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> because I, all the authors in Washington, D.C., and I, uh, got very tired. I, I came from the Western half. I started as a writer in the Western half. I was in San Francisco. And when I moved to Washington, D.C., we, we discovered that uh, we were all kept apart. We were herded into separate pens, the journalists, the historians, the literary writers, right. the best-selling popular writers. And so we decided that we were going to have a party on our own. And so everybody gave their email addresses. And we threw a huge party. This is about 10 or 12 years ago in the middle of a conference called Malice Domestic. Every year, um, all the authors go to the Edgar Allan Poe Awards in New York. And then they all take the train down and go to the uh, Agatha Christie Awards in Washington, DC. Mm -hmm. So we knew they were coming. So we threw a big party. And everybody had such a great time. We had 87 authors there wow. in my apartment. And we said, well, you know, we could do this to raise money for uh, uh, not just to have fun, but to raise money for all our pet projects. So we oh. did things for Penn Faulkner. Uh, we had, I mean, one of my great things is I love libraries. Mm -hmm. And I love to find ways to get people to know how to use libraries and how to discover libraries. So Nancy Gwynn, the director of the Smithsonian Institution Libraries, of which, by the way, we have 21 libraries. There's a library um, in every museum and research center of the Smithsonian, from the Cooper Hewitt in New York all the way down to the Tropical Research uh, Center in the Panama Canal. Wow. So uh, the, a lot of libraries and millions and millions of books, millions of rare books. It's the largest museum library collection uh, really in, in the world, I believe, and certainly the most prestigious. We also are the spearhead people for the Biodiversity Heritage Library. So anyway, Nancy kept getting invited to these parties because she was part of the, um, the author uh, sort of focus group. And mm -hmm. uh, her husband, John Cole, who's director of the Center for the Book at the Library of Congress and another librarian, mm -hmm. said, well, why don't you invite Neville to get on the board? <laughs> she seems to have a really great Rolodex. And so we did. And we've had, we've raised money for the libraries. We've raised visibility is more important even than money because a lot of Americans don't know that we have all these books and they belong to us, the American people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had one at uh, the Natural History Museum. We had one at the Hirshhorn. We had one in my apartment in DC. And we would um, have a list of prestigious authors be the hosts. And so I said to all the female authors, well, we can't just put a bunch of women authors on the list. We have to have some guys, too, so that yeah. everybody will show up. And they won't think it's just a salon, a literary salon. Mm -hmm. So we did. And we've been doing this for about six years now. 